worship finishing. Only a little bit. <laughs> Only slightly. Thank you to the organizers uh, for this podium. I didn't get my fluorescent beige M&Ms. But other than that, everything's doing fine. Now, in case you don't know, I'm Milo Vinopoulos. I'm the most lied about man in the world, the most censored man in the world. Um, I'm also your personal pet faggot. Also the author of How to Be Straight, available at all good bookstores now, and the only reason I'm here. I'm just kidding, it's not, it's not, it's not. In no way did I rush out a pamphlet knowing I was going to, no, I'm kidding. Uh, if you do need some help, probably you guys don't, um, but if you wanted, for instance, to buy a copy for your next uh, encounter with protesters, they clearly do need some tips on how to be straight. Um, I just saw a flyer, by the way, I'm going to read it to you. It says, this is going around the crowd out there. It says, sex with whites is white supremacy. White, white sex is rape. Well, I don't know about you guys, but not guilty. Now, some of those rotund little lesbians with the bullhorns were getting very hoarse. <laughs> and I'm not just that, talking man. about their faces. Um, <laughs> you're allowed to make jokes about gingers, fatties, and lesbians, okay? They're the only three you're still allowed. Shut up. Now, they sound a little hoarse after the first few minutes, so I did try from my float the wonderful Trump Unity Bridge to offer them some lozenges but I didn't get any takers. It's all right. I'm happy to be the only taker. Thank you. You really are straight. Now, gay TV network Lobo.tv, which of course you've never heard of, um, asked if I'm really a heterosexual and if all this is just a stunt for the cameras. Well, let me tell you, that's some fucking method acting I've been doing over the last few decades. Hundreds upon thousands of incidents of method acting. <laughs> I've been called many disgusting things in my life, but never heterosexual. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love straight people and I love straight pride and it is great to be straight. Thank you for having me. It's a wonderful... <laughs> but I'm not done yet. Thanks to the... Oh, I'm going to make you suffer. I'm going to make you suffer. Thanks to the Trump Unity Bridge for taking the weight off my feet, by the way. It's not easy to walk in these. Do you like them? Yeah. And the legs. I just click my heels three times and I can fix gay. Unfortunately, it doesn't... How are you feeling? Ready to burn some bitches? You look ready to burn some bitches. There we go. Just see how easy it is. Now you, you, wanna, you, you have to take the weight off when you're wearing shoes like this. Beautiful but deadly, like the Alexandria Castillo Cortez. Oh. Now thanks to the organizers who've done a great job under some very difficult circumstances. Yeah. I think there is a yeah, thank you. I want to know that I especially appreciated your dancing during the rap portion of the afternoon. Like a white guy, that's cool. You do. I, I got a video of him sort of bouncing and we're, we're going to use it for the ad next year. The Facebook ad, it's just going to say straight pride. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, finally we will manage to make it in here, thank God. But no one is fooled by male wash. That fill a pendulous throttle bottom. <laughs> All he's done by making our life difficult is ensure that this parade will be twice the size next year and yeah. ten times the size again. Yeah. That Neil Walsh will be your legacy. So they're not going to remember you for anything else. He's the mayor who gave Boston the greatest and most glorious straight pride parade in the world. Now, Mayor Walsh would not allow us to fly our um, flag of love and top. I don't need any help, okay? Would not allow us to fly our flag of love and tolerance outside City Hall. They've also banned Christian flags. But I'm here to send a message. We're here.
We're not queer. Wait, well, you're not queer. <laughs> Working on it. And we're not going anywhere. Yeah. You've gone wonky again. Went up at an angle. <laughs> Not very much more than I'm guessing. <laughs> now, the great Catholic writer G.K. Chesterton just, um, used to decry what he called the modern and morbid weaknesses of always sacrificing the normal to the abnormal. And that's what's happening when a city mayor feels the need to condemn something as life-affirming and as wonderful as heterosexuality. That's the point of all this, and it's why we're here and why many, many more of these events are coming. Today is just the start. You have these guys to thank for the beginning of the franchise. I hope you're monetizing it. Let's be, let's be real Republicans. Let's be proper capitalists. License the flag. Charge people for it. Because you need the money. You are the numerous, the most brutally oppressed minority in the Western world. Now you can all say we're here today listening to some washed up gay attention seeker telling jokes while your landlord texts you and says you've been evicted for being Trump supporter. But you were here at the beginning of something special. So thank you. I'm not going to thank the city of Boston because they've had a fucking nightmare. But I will thank the boys in blue. Unlike the left. We don't chant fuck the case. No. Our message to the police is simpler. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. And I must also thank, of course, you, the brave and intrepid souls who showed up today. Some of you, uh, I've been told, have been openly living as heterosexual for years. <laughs> I congratulate you on your indefatigability. Proud of you for coming today and having the bravery to live as open heterosexuals in today's hostile society. Some of my best friends have been openly straight for years, and I never cease to find them inspirational. Maybe one day, even Mayor Walsh will have the courage to come out and admit it's great to be straight. <laughs> now, we might not be as trendy as gay pride, we might be smaller at the beginning. And we don't have, it's true, prepubescent children twerking or toddler drag queens because to normal people those things are child abuse and they should be against the law. Yeah. We have something better. Women who embrace motherhood. Yeah. Men who are afraid to let their wild side out now and again. We have truth. We have beauty. And we have virtue, and we have something better than all of those things. We have me. Because they threw me out the other one. We need straight pride, not for the reasons you think, or at least not just for those reasons. Not just for men, but we do need a healthy appreciation of heroic masculine virtue. Not just for children, though it sickens me that the left is trying to force child rapists in dresses into school libraries. We need it most of all for our women. We love our moms. Now I might be a homosexual, but I take women very seriously. We need straight pride because women are losing themselves to feminism. Men want to do okay. They realize that what's going on on TV is a crock of shit and they retreat into porn or video games or each other's company, and it's not ideal, but they survive. Women, on the other hand, are getting taken in by it. They're getting persuaded by it, and it's our job to get them out of it. They're getting sucked into Scrabble, knitting needles, cruises, Wicker, and each other. <laughs> 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 No, not burn your bars. Burn your briefcases! Well, okay. No offense. Lesbians aren't a thing, by the way. It's a myth. 
like the Second Amendment. You've heard it exists, but you don't see any evidence in your daily life. <laughs> All we ask today is one letter, the letter S. Yeah. Add S to LGBTQQIAPR, and they all get letters. So why can't you? We know that the healthy, heroic, masculine virtues are the best. We know that the beauty and wonder of motherhood is the best. Even I know that. And we celebrate the holy sacrament of marriage. Overbearing men hating women and weak men produce society's two great sicknesses: gangs and gays. Gays are embarrassing. Just look at them. Gays are expensive. Did you know the federal government spends $35 billion a year on AIDS? Now, like Marianne Williamson, I've been intimately involved with the AIDS crisis. My experience is more hands-on. And I just want to tell you, because I know a lot of you have heard about this reparations stuff that's going around. Well, I fully support reparations from the LGBT community to the family members of those who died of AIDS. Our community deserves to be, to be held accountable for its complicity in this horror. Now, gays produce moral horrors wherever they go, and I'm not just talking about stains on the bedpost. <laughs> in California, it's now no longer a crime to knowingly infect someone with HIV. Why? Because that law disproportionately targets homosexuals. What kind of... Gays are reckless and unstable. Hard to believe, looking at the stable genius in front of you, I know. Homosexuals are three to five times more likely to be mentally ill, 20 times more likely to be diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, 30 times more likely to have narcissistic personality disorder. Tough to believe, I know. <laughs> and while we're on statistics, uh, gays produce 55% more destructive acts of God. I'm told Hurricane Dorian currently hurtling towards Miami is a direct result of all those gay Disney characters. <laughs> so yes, we may be going to hell, but that's more a problem for me than it is for you. We're here today to celebrate. Uh, I'll wrap up by thanking all the groups who turned out. Homo Hamid, um, both of you, representing Muslim allies of the LGBT. Uh, oh no, wait, no, they're both gone. You all risked a lot to be here, um, not as much as me. Um, I don't want to know what kind of hat hair is lurking underneath this thing. You will never find out. But we're here to draw attention to the hypocrisy and lunacy of the progressive left, and we've done it beautifully. Andrea Dworkin, the uh, nasty old lesbian feminist, used to have a sign up in her office that said, Dead men don't rent. And that kind of bulldike lesbianism has morphed now into something unbelievably even worse, which is people who deny basic biological reality and who treat Christians and those who believe in traditional family values and to do, and, and reopen the two genders as some kind of criminal, and it is wrong. And this is the beginning of setting it right. So congratulations to the men I say, embrace your toxic masculinity. I hate to quote a Frenchman, but Alexis de Tocqueville uh, warns that democratic capitalist societies are going to have to work even harder to stress la différence between men and women than the aristocratic societies did. Otherwise, he said, you'll get weak men and disreputable women. Well, there they are. Yeah. There has never been a society that has not been constructed on the backs of men and in the wombs of women. And it is a beautiful and glorious and wonderful thing. And to the women here I say thank you for the bra. But I don't want you to burn your bras. I want you to burn your briefcases. I want you to burn the shackles that are keeping you from being happy. And I want you to encourage the men around you to make you happy by being men. Not boys and children and, and neuters and eunuchs betas and cuts. You know you want your men to be men. The men know all we have to do is unlock the cage by ignoring this insanity. Thank you very much, Straight Friars. Oh, shit. Thank you for the bra, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it. Um, God bless. Thank you so much. Our audio is about to be cut off. Thank you. Bye, Leadapolis, everyone. Listen, this is...
a project to get out of here safely, so I wouldn't I wouldn't leave yet until we okay. coordinate with the police. Thank you all for coming out here today on behalf of Super Happy Fun America. My name is Samson Rachapi. Please pick up your trash. We want to leave this a better place than we found it, and stand by because we're going to go coordinate with the police and let you know how we're going to get out of here safely because it is going to be a project. Without you, this group is not possible. Thank you very much. Hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, what did you think of this event today? I thought it was a pretty good, good event. What brought you out here? Well, primarily for me, I wanted to